you, Israel, if we could. Obviously, you know, the narrative in this fight has been that Rob made wholesale changes and fixed everything between the first fight and the second. And you said, yes, he's improved. But I'm curious, I mean, how much can a guy change at this point in his career? Um, he's young. He's actually younger than me. I know I look fresh, but he's younger than me. So he's uh, made a lot of improvements in his game. But you guys have to understand, from tough nationals to being the UFC middleweight champion, this guy did a lot of work and he ran through everyone till he ran into me. And then I stopped that shit. But the last three fights, he has done what he's always done. He's improved, but he's always been a beast. But I'm a different beast, but the same animal. And Israel, just to follow up on that, I mean, rematches are kind of a theme for you in your career right now, right? It seems like there could be some more coming after this. But I just ask you, what do you think you gain the most after being in there once with somebody? What is it that you benefit the most from? After beating them, uh, you, you're in their head. I was already there anyway, but you're already in their head when, once you beat them the way, I mean, the way I did it last time. You can't get over that. It takes a lot of work, and I feel like he's done the work. He's admitted what I was telling him, what I was saying through 2019 leading up to the fight. I was calling it as I see it. And I'm glad he's finally admitted that I was right. Um, so yeah, I still have, you know, properties in there, rent-free. Rob, for you, obviously, clearly, you were not happy with the way things went the first time around. But I'm just curious, you know, you changed a lot of things. But was there anything you learned in that eight and a half minutes in the cage with Izzy that you can use to your advantage this time around? Uh, yeah, you know, one of the things I learned is tricky to hit. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, he's a pain to hit. Um, Honestly, you know, as you were saying, I've made a lot of changes in the, in the last few years, but you can't reinvent the wheel. You know, I, I've just been making slight improvements, trying to get better, trying to be more diverse. And uh, honestly, I've put the work in, and I'm excited to, to, to get in there again with him and just to, to, test, to test myself. You know, it's, uh, I guess this, the, the rematch is just a good way for me to gauge how far I've come or how far I've got to go, and I look forward to getting in there with him. I, honestly, it, it really interests me, this fight. And there was so much tension the first time around, right? It was such an emotional thing, and you've been so much more relaxed this time. So I'm just curious, I mean, this fight, is it a guy that you don't like and you want to go in there and you want to damage, or is it just an athletic competition for you? Uh, you know, I, I think I was just venting on him, to be honest. I, <laughs> I, was, I was feeling the pressure from a lot of different avenues, and I wasn't happy with a lot of different things, and I was just angling it towards him, to be honest. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I've let all that go. I'm pretty, pretty cool now. I am um, quite happy with everything. Very happy with the process. Very happy with where I am, with the work that I put in. And I look, I look forward to getting in there across from him and getting to work. Izzy and Rob, what are the chances of you guys doing a shui after your fight on Saturday? First of all, my mom's in. She's a, she's a nurse. She already warned me about the dangers of putting someone else's uh, <laughs> bacteria in your mouth. So with my mom being here, that's a big no-no. Uh, Rob, what about you? Sober, zero, but... <laughs> I, know, I noticed you're wearing uh, a chain around your neck. I can't exactly see what it is. Oh, yeah, this is uh, a moment from the UFC NFT uh, strike collection. Um, it's just a... R112. Yeah, oh, I mean, you know, you gotta talk to the, the company, talk to the big boss. But um, yeah, this is a, a moment that's uh, from the UFC 243 when I took out Rob Whitaker, it's on replay, and it just shows the moment over and over and over and over and over again. But, 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 this weekend, I'm looking to create another moment, so yeah, this is fun. Uh, Rob, your thoughts on Israel wearing that around his neck? Get it, Rob. Get it, Rob. <laughs> Get it, Rob. Um, he beat me the first time. He's got bragging rights. And I, like, what do I do? If I won the first time, I'd be stomping around as well. Um, it's a cool necklace. <laughs> you once said that you have to face yourself in order to beat yourself. Where are I you? I can conquer myself, I oh, can yeah, conquer what's up? anyone. Yeah. So at what stage in your career did you conquer yourself? Uh, many times, many times. Every, I mean, my brand, Engage, has a new uh, campaign. We're all fighters. Every day we're fighters. Everyone in here is a fighter, you know? So every single day, there's sometimes, look, I'm human. You know, I do some superhuman things, but I'm human. There's sometimes during this camp, I wake up and, you know, it's like four weeks out from the fight, my body's sore, you know, I'm feeling tired. But then that fight to get out of the bed, get to the gym and get, get work done, that's me beating myself. And I've done that a lot this camp. I always defeat myself in the best way possible. So yeah, we're all fighters. You've also been quoted saying that when I'm having fun, I'm the best in the world. 
And I know recently you've said that you can get bored in fights. So how do you ensure that you have fun on Saturday night? Um, one thing I've said throughout this week for myself is tapping into my younger self, the Izzy that was really passionate about learning. And when I said I, you know, I, I'm ex I never lost my passion for this game, but I got bored in my last fight because, I mean, you guys saw those deadly strikes in the end of the fifth round, right? Damn. You know, but uh, yeah, like he, for me, it's just, it's, it's about staying excited, staying in, in it, staying in it. So I think with this guy right here, the way he fought last time, he brought the fight. And everyone knows, if you bring the fight, I will fight. And I'm looking forward to fighting this weekend. Questions for the champ, Izzy. Right here. What's up, man? Rob actually has spoken very highly about your takedown defense, and he said something along the lines of, if um, anyone could do it, they would, and that you, you, know, you have very long limbs. Um, do you think that to you, does that sound like it's a psych, or do you feel like he's just going to try to strike with you? Um, I think he's being honest. I do have really good takedown defense. He's a smart man, and I think he has a lot of, a lot of smart people in his team. Even my coaches admitted it. They, um, yeah, they know what they're in for, and he knows I'm a hard fight. But uh, yeah, he's being honest, I'll say that. Okay, and question for Israel. Israel, today's the anniversary of your fight with Anderson Silva. I'm curious, and how much more work do you have to do to get to his level of legacy? Um, I'm not chasing that. Like, I don't chase those numbers. I know uh, I probably have, like, a few fights before I have the longest reigning blah, blah, blah. But um, I don't really chase those. For me, it's all about one fight at a time because if I fail this next fight, then all that's fucked up. You know, it's gone in the trash. But one fight at a time, and right now I'm focused on the Reaper. Rob, for you, there's a lot of talk about how much you've changed since the first fight, but how much do you think Israel's changed? Uh, he's... He's a good fighter, man. Uh, you can see the levels. You can see the level difference between us and the rest of the division. There, there's, there's a reason why he's at the top at the moment. He's, um, he's a phenomenal fighter. I couldn't beat him the first time. And uh, I've had to put in a lot of work to try and, and, and give him another run. Uh, <laughs> first question is for Robert. How much different was the process of assessing Israel and developing your game plan for this one? Um, obviously, I had to take this rematch with Adesanya with a lot more gravity and respect. Coming off a loss, you know, you have to look at a lot of different things. I've, I've been watching his, his previous fights, his recent fights, and they, they've all looked phenomenal. I've, I've watched our tape back and seen the things that I could have done better, things, you know, that, that, that I could have done differently. And uh, I guess... At the end of the day, our game plan's all well and said, and, and having uh, a game plan written out and, and working on procedure and working on changes is good, but it's a dynamic fight. Honestly, my team has done the best job of equipping me with the skill sets that I need to, to attain this victory, and it's up to me to get in there and execute. 